about one year already since we started it. We found out that uh, after you get the bacteria going, you want to increase the number of fish that you have. Our problem, mainly a good portion of this last year, was lack of nutrients. So if you notice here, we got lettuce there. That lettuce there, I grow it actually to feed back to the tilapia and the fish inside the fish tank. You can't see very well in there right now, but there's about 40 tilapia goldfish in there which you see floating on top is uh, lettuce that lettuce is used uh, to replace potassium back into the water as you look into the downspouts you see a slight brownish color that is uh, nails that are rusting to put iron sulfate back in the soil it's or into the solution because that's one of the things along with potassium that lacks. This tomato plant came up kind of rogue. Has six tomatoes growing on it right now. You can't really see them yet, but they're small. I didn't plant this tomato. It did it all on its own. It's okay. This is the float tank on top with newly sprouted lettuce in the center. You will see one. That is not pebbles. Those are plastic beads. Just to show you that you don't have to use pebbles or anything. This is plastic beads. And the lettuce is growing very well inside the plastic beads. It's all about the bacteria. It's all about the amounts of ammonia, nitrite, and, nitri and uh, nitrate that are in the water. That's what feeds...